Let's get started. Create a new composition. Go to composition, click new. Rename it main. For this I'm using full HD. Frame per second is 25 and duration of this composition is 10 second. Click OK. Now create a new solid. Right click, new and click solid. Rename it to fractal noise 1. Click OK. Now go to effects and presets and go to noise and select fractal noise. Add the effect to this layer. Perfect. Go to fractal noise 1 layer and right click and pre-compose it. Now go to properties panel. Change fractal type to strings. Brightness to minus 60. Go to transform. Change scale to 177. Now go to sub settings. Change sub influence to 125%. Change sub scaling to 200. Now create a adjustment layer. Right click, new and click adjustment layer. Now go to effects and presets and add a slider control effect to adjustment layer. Go back to fractal noise and go to evolution. Now press alt button and click the stopwatch next to evolution. It will generate some script. Now take the expression pick whip and drag it to slider control effect in adjustment layer. Perfect. Change the value of slider to 100. Good. Now go to script and add multiply by time. Now go to effects and presets. Add a turbulent displace effect to fractal noise. Change displacement to bulge. Change amount from 50 to 200. Now copy the script added earlier in fractal noise effect. Now go to evolution in turbulent displace effect. Press alt button and click the stopwatch next to evolution. Now paste the same script here, which was copied earlier. Good. Now go to main composition. Go to effects and presets. Add a CC sphere to fractal noise comp. Now go to shading and change ambient to 75. Now go to effects and presets. Add a video copilot color vibrance plugin. You can download this free plugin from video copilot website. Below in the description is the link of this plugin. Now change the color to light blue. Change the brightness to 1.4. Again go to effects and presets and add a glow effect to this layer. Change glow threshold to 30%. Now go to fractal noise 1 layer and change the mode from normal to screen. Perfect. Again go to project window and duplicate the fractal noise 1 composition by pressing ctrl D. Rename it to fractal noise 2. Open this fractal noise 2 composition and go to effects panel to change these settings. Change fractal type to swirly. Change noise type to spline. Click checkbox for invert. Change contrast to 225. Change brightness to minus 28. Now go to transform and change scale to 191. Now go to sub settings and change sub influence to 70%. Sub scaling to 120. Perfect. Now turn off the turbulent displace effect in fractal noise 2. Now go to main composition. And drag the fractal noise 2 comp below fractal noise 1. Change the mode to screen. Now go to fractal noise 1 effects panel and copy the CC sphere and VC color vibrance plugin and paste it to fractal noise 2 comp player in effects panel. One more thing, go to Fractal Noise 2 Comp again and change the mode to screen for Fractal Layer. Good. 
Go to main composition and go fractal noise too. Go to effects panel and change the brightness to 1 in VC color vibrance plugin. Make the color little lighter as well. Now again follow the same method. Go to main composition, property windows. Duplicate the fractal noise 2 and rename it to fractal noise 3. Now open this comp and go to effects panel. And change these settings. Change noise type to soft linear. Contrast 125. Brightness to minus 32. Now go to transform and change the scale to 140. Now go to main comp and drag the fractal noise 3 below the fractal noise 2. Change mode to screen. Now follow the same procedure and copy the effects from Fractal Noise 2 and paste it to Fractal Noise 3. Now go to Fractal Noise 3 layer and duplicate it. And rename it to Fractal Noise FB. FB for Fast Blur. Go to Effects and Presets. Search for Fast Blur and add it to new layer. Change the blurriness to 35. Perfect. Now press S on this layer to open scale and change the value to 103. Again duplicate this layer. Go to Effects panel and change the color in VC Color Vibrance plugin. Change it to orange. Now press S on this layer. And change the scale from 103 to 110. Perfect. Also change the mode from screen to difference for this layer. Now go to property window. Duplicate fractal noise 2. Now open the comp. Change these settings. Go to adjustment layer and change slider value from 100 to 200. Now open fractal layer. Change noise type back to soft linear. Contrast to 150. Brightness to minus 32. Now go to transform. Change scale to 80. Go back to property window and rename it to Fractalina. Drag it timeline panel. Change the mode to screen. Now copy the effects from Fractal Noise FB2 and paste it to Fractalina layer. Perfect. Now go to effect panel. Go to CC Sphere and change Radius to 100. Now go to Effects and Presets and add a Glow effect to it. Change Glow Threshold to 20% and Glow Radius to 45. Now duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D. Do not change its setting. Now again duplicate it. Change Glow Radius to 120 and glow intensity to 0.7. Perfect. Now duplicate the fractal in a layer, and change the mode to screen. Perfect. Now add a blue solid layer to the main comp. Change its opacity from 100 to 0. Now add the Eclipse Mask to this layer. Create the mask and cover the sphere. Now go to Effects and Presets and add a Gradient Ramp to it. Perfect. Now change its opacity back to 100. Now change the color. Change the it to blue and light pink. Change ramp to radial ramp. Also change start and end of ramp. Perfect. Move the blue solid layer down and press T to open opacity. Change it to 12. 
Now duplicate this layer and remove the gradient effect from this layer. Go to effects and presets. Add a fill layer to it. Change the color to light blue. Now go to this layer and change the scale to around 135. Now open the mask properties and change the mask feather to 150. Perfect. Now change the mode of both solid layer to normal. Now add adjustment layer to their main composition and go to effects and presets and add a color correction effect to adjustment layer. Now open the fractal inner effect property and press alt button and click the stopwatch next to color in VC vibrance color plugin. Now drag the option to adjustment layer. That is folks for today. I hope you like my video. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to it. Thank you and have a nice day.